So let's go Ifer, let's play some dragon if he wants. Let's play some dragon, I know how much you like uh, when I'm playing dragon. And let's go. And let's go with the line uh, where I gave the lesson on bishop d7. You always play rook c8, you know that I gave you that in the... And now you play knight a5, they can't play h5 because you just take. Here you play queen a5 and he might think that the knight e5 should be winning. But actually it's gonna be lost. You certainly know that you have this on the channel. Queen d2, let's go baby, yes. Come here, come here, you gotta learn the line. You gotta learn the line, I gave you everything so far. And I gave you my game from Iceland, h5, knight e g4. And on g5, we said, we said, we said, knight e4. That's what we said on g5. On that one, I'm just taking by this. And I'm including knight g4, threatening his bishop. And now he can't move his bishop here because uh, this one is gonna be hanging. And he's about to say, oh my, oh. He, you're, you're so big. Okay. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me just take it here. Threatening to take this one. He has to take. In which case, I'm gonna take by this bishop. But he still has problems. Yeah. If he plays bishop f2, rook f2. If he plays bishop g1, rook f1. If he plays rook e1, rook here. And he's lost. I like when I play this dragon. And once again, I'm just showing you like a clear proof how uh, variations from the videos on my YouTube channel work successfully. Mm -hmm. Can I take it? I can take it and he's gonna play rook f7. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. If he gives check, I go king g7. Mm -hmm. Okay. He wants to take there. Bishop f5. Bishop f5 to cut off his pieces and to go here. Yeah, he lost. It's nice line, h5, rook e2, h takes bishop c2, yeah, this should be easily winning. Because he can't play rook c7, I just play bishop c5. And on this one, I don't know, I mean, I can play whatever I like. Oh no, actually, he's gonna go rook e1. We'll just go here. To see what is he going to do this is like power of the bishop pair and now i go with the bishop b6 he has to move it and to move it on the worst square like rook c4 in which case we can absolutely you know like okay now my rook is my king is way better than it was this is how I finally came out of the problems. And now, no, 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 no. Can I play? Can I play? Bishop c5, b4. I gotta go with this move. I gotta go with this move. King f7 takes. Let me just go here. I need to centralize my king even at a cost of one pawn. Uh, just like you see, my king is gonna be safe. Okay, that's good. Now I'm happy. He doesn't have any more checks on the back rank, on the seventh rank. Uh, and now I can I can finally breathe a little bit more. Even if he, yeah, okay. Not a big deal. Not a convincing, not a convincing realization which is nothing new for me you know how how bad i am uh, when it comes to this part of the game 
no, I'm having problems. I gotta use my king and its full activity here. Mm -hmm. Wants to trick me. It's not gonna work this way. played a bad game like the last couple of moves but before that it wasn't convincing at all. 